When I first learned about animal cruelty, I wanted to make it my mission to share my fabulous, delicious plant-based recipes with the world so that everybody could cook compassionately in their own home kitchen. So I decided to start writing books, sharing my recipes through my radio podcast and my television show. And uh, now I share recipes regularly, and that helps people to cook more compassionately in their own home kitchen. So right now I'm very excited to share one of my favorite quick and easy compassionate plant-based recipes. Cauliflower often plays second fiddle to other veggies in the kitchen, but on today's show, cauliflower gets respect. Cauliflower gets respect, yeah, yeah. I came up with this one last summer when I was entertaining. I wanted a first course. I had some beautiful cauliflower in my kitchen. Whipped it up, so easy to make. And what I've done is I've taken one medium large head of cauliflower and I've cut it into bite-sized florets and you're gonna steam it for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice and soft. And we're just about there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it all in the blender. What we're gonna start with is three quarters of a cup of vegetable broth. And then I'm adding a quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and then a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Then I'm gonna add a little freshly ground pepper. Now we're just gonna add our cauliflower. Ooh, that's steamy. Get it out of there. And we're just going to spoon our cauliflower right into our blender container. Make sure you leave nice air space because that's very, very hot cauliflower in there. We want room for the steam to escape, so when you start blending it, it doesn't just explode all over the place. All right, we're going to start this on a low speed. Start incorporating it. I'm blending the hot cauliflower here. If you're doing this at home, if you have the time, what I really recommend is to let that cauliflower come to room temperature. Let's take a peek at this see what our consistency is. All right, checking that out. Ooh, that's looking good, looking good. But I am gonna add a little more vegetable broth. Really depends on how big your head of cauliflower is as to how much veggie broth you add to this. You can also add a little bit more of your plant-based milk. All right, so let's blend it a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Now this is the exact right consistency. See, that is just beautiful. So I'm just going to put it in the soup pan. At this point, if you wanted to put it in a tightly covered container and chill it for up to 24 hours, you could certainly make this in advance and then you're just going to warm it up before you serve it. Which is what I did the first time. I made it in the afternoon, I put it in the refrigerator and then I served it later on. Oh my gosh, take a look at that. All right, so I'm going to heat this up. I'm gonna check on my cauliflower steaks, plate them up for you, and I'm gonna plate up my fabulous paprika roasted cauliflower, and I'm gonna taste this cauliflower and really give it some respect. Wow, look at my fabulous cauliflower dishes. Who knew that cauliflower was such an interesting veggie? First, I have my very creamy looking cauliflower soup. Just dressed it out with a little bit of fresh parsley and some smoked paprika. Just gonna give it a little taste. Mmm, that is amazing. You've got that bit of cumin just coming through there. A little bit of veggie broth giving it some fabulous flavor. Really a great creamy soup. So how can you help? Well, go to wdyd.farmsanctuary.org and just join an animal team. I'm on Team Moo, by the way, and get involved. And by donating now, you have the chance to win an online cooking lesson with me. I'm going to teach you how to cook more compassionately in your own home kitchen.